Hello, John. Hello, Oliver. Yes, are you going to do an article there about uh, Lord Monkton, Christopher Monkton? That's right, yeah. He, he mentioned uh, the climate uh, conference and power to kill the poor. I mentioned it there before, but uh, the fact is that he also mentions in this uh, that uh, these um, people that was at this Mid Madrid conference uh, are all singing from this climate that he announces, according to what he says, and now they're going to be interfering with farmers wanting to ban meat. The consumption of meat or reduce it and, 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 and lamb and that kind of thing. Uh, and that means perhaps a shortage of meat, as we were talking about earlier. So this is what they're at, along with everything else. And let's see what they do to finish up. He says, uh, banning coal-fired power in developing countries is just about all the major banks do. Uh, cheered on, uh, cheered to the echo, but the zombies here in Madrid uh, is even sillier and a whole lot crueler than having a piano and not being a, and letting anyone have it. He mentioned that earlier on. Uh, paradoxically, therefore, the quickest and, and surest way to reduce the world's carbon footprint, inverted commas, is burn more coal, for nothing is more certainly guaranteed to lift a developing nation out of poverty, disease and debt, and hence prevent over rapid population growth that universal access to electricity can have. You see, and we're talking about that about prior to the famine when we had this population increase that we were talking about mm -hmm. earlier, and I mentioned that we had eight million, even though we were poverty struck. Uh, so another little item 